why aren't all labs equal? And I would say the, the operative word is labs, plural. So there is one lab that grows embryos. That's the embryology lab. Ours is special. There's a second lab that does chromosomal screening of the embryo. We do that in-house. Most clinics don't do chromosomal screening. They refer it out to a reference lab. First, I'll talk about the IVF lab. Even if you have well-trained embryologists and excellent equipment, there's about 100 different components that come in contact with a human embryo. They all have to be screened through quality control. If we get a bad lot of protein, oil, media, amino acids, vitamin substrates, buffers, we're going to kill or stress those embryos. So at CCRM, we have researchers that use animal embryos to screen every component of the media before it's introduced to a human embryo. And we often find lots of these reagents that are embryotoxic and of course discard those. So we're very careful to QC our, our media, our culture environment to grow the very best embryos and stress them the least. We also have a very elaborate air handling system to filter out factors in the air, such as car emissions that can cause embryotoxicity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna simplify quality control for the IVF lab. And when I'm talking to patients, I often use the example of a restaurant. So you could buy a restaurant with a great chef who has great recipes and is noted world around for food. But if the person purchasing the products, the vegetables, the meat, the fish isn't very careful about the produce and you bring in tainted food, the best restaurant, the best chef, the best recipes are gonna equal very poor food. So we have a good recipe, we have highly trained embryologists, but we're very picky to be sure everything that the embryo is exposed to, and there's over a hundred factors, are tested very rigorously with bovine or cow and mouse embryos to be sure they support embryo development at a high level in that animal model before we ever expose a human embryo to those conditions. You can have a good recipe, but if the execution's poor, if you buy bad fish for your fish meal, or you get bad amino acids for your culture media, your, your best laid efforts will be doomed due to this toxin in the system that needs to be screened for. Secondly, once we have a good embryo, we biopsy it and we do the chromosomal testing in-house in a platform that we validated and do extensive quality control. If you're sending the cells out to a reference lab, you really aren't sure how accurate the testing is. And of course, if they mislabel a normal embryo as abnormal, you're gonna discard a good embryo. So we think our growth of embryos is critical, making viable embryos, but testing them and making sure the chromosomal data on that embryo is accurate is equally important. And you really have both at CCRM.